Friday morning and ready to get loaded. There's my target down there. I think we've got a long enough run up to keep a straight line. I shut off by now. You can see this locking pin here. It's meant to go on to that security point there. But the technical term for that is it's bent like a banana. So because we can't use it, we have to secure the two extra chains onto the machine. As you can see, two more chains on there. It's all the cab portion of all the terrain dump there secure it against the night. Right, that's us, boxy on. Let's get going, just started to rain. <laughs> At least I got it on before it started raining. <laughs> so oh, anyhow, it's not a, the site isn't a great long isn't a long way off. And uh, the access is fairly good, so that's good. And we are collecting a tractor and uh, a vacuum tanker from the same site, so it's pretty efficient. So, whiz this off, put the tractor on, and come back to the yard. Well, that's been a uh, harder fight than I thought it was going to be. Uh, this bit was easy, but everything else that went with it was really tricky. Anyhow, it's on. Being Mundy, uh, being an organised firm and all that, the road going fuel bowser came to fill up the site bowser. And then I promptly got stuck. <laughs> Which is not surprising, it's, it, the weather's awful and it's a stone paddock and bless him, he just found us off but he got stuck, it's not his fault, just one of them things. So, uh, quite rightly, he fueled up all the diggers and, and the dozer and all the other machines that needed doing before we tried to get him out because he, he needs to do that anyhow, that's to happen, and it makes the machine lighter. So we had a little go at trying to get it out on his own, he couldn't do it obviously. So uh, after some debate, we, uh, I came up with a plan of action that made sense and we dragged him out. No damage caused, no real time lost, uh, a little bit of footage, always, always helpful. Uh, uh, yeah, that was that. That's a bit, a bit of heavy recovery going on. Come on, get it out! Get it out! That's the one. Gap 320. Uh, that site's improved a great deal. The access is a lot better than it was when the first time I went, so it wasn't too bad at all. Um, the ground around there is really sandy, so it drains well, dries well, and it's easy to knock off the book from the from the digger. Really, it, uh, it had been dug out, but it needed a bit more cleaning. us are all finished for today good night see you all again tomorrow thank you bye bye Still need to do your daily checks when it's tipping with rain. No, no nasty surprises. So let's see. Drum time. Tricky access this one. There we 
go. Happy customer. Plenty of work to do here. That was an interesting spot. I don't remember what it was wrong. On the side of a lower bridge. Phone call leading to the Adjustments had to be taken. And they got them both of us. Tom and I have got the machines off. No trouble. Because uh, laughing to myself, I've seen this site for the old where you can see it from the M65 and each time I see it I think, flipping out, that looks like a bad site to get to. <laughs> I knew we'd find our way in there eventually. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> It'll be nice when it's finished, won't it? Uh, I've got this dinky little thing to get off now. Let's get cracking. Back off for travels. That's Tom. So this is inside a ham roller. Take on the key down here. Sometimes you press the button for the handbrake, take it off. Or sometimes you just change the motion selector. So you've got the motion selector here, forward and back, and the buttons make you vibrate. Let's get her off. Always glad to get a chance to get a trailer washed. That's us. We had a, an easy afternoon, to be fair. Uh, managed to get a trailer washed and fully fueled up, so that's brilliant. I went to help uh, a guy load one of our screeners. Unfortunately, that's commercially sensitive, so I can't discuss that or display any more about it. Well, it was. A, it went on easy enough. It was. A, luckily, they were an experienced guy and a, a, a good team with him. We we're a good bit of timbers, so a few extra timbers, a bit of extra manpower, and, a, and it went on pretty easy, really. So that's pretty good. Uh, tomorrow we're off doing a collection first thing, so we don't need to get anything loaded, which is cool. And we're going to. Uh, a small village on in the River Valley, which because of a low bridge is quite a detour to get there. So it should be a good drive and interesting thing to do tomorrow. So until then, we'll see you then. Thank you very much. Good night. That's why you check underneath. That way you get swap punches. That's the wheel off. Clean the faces, keep it safe. And I'll chill go. Safe on the That's door. it, look at that going on. I genuinely find doing that myself really hard, I've got to say. Very important that you talk up these wheel nuts and stop and check them as we go along. Getting a bit of an help off Sledge because he wants to make sure the film works nicely. <laughs> the chap that he is. company policy when you have a tyre change to write it in a log like that and you have to stop at periods of 25 kilometres to retorque the wheel to make sure it's safe and as it's a drive wheel it's imperative that you do it. So if you can see I've banked it over a little bit so I can work without getting run over.
So that's the first one. Three eight nine. So five six three. Answers. Job done. Now we'll just keep an eye on the mileage. It will probably end up doing the next one on site, but it might be if there's a big lay of light before we get there. We'll, which I think there is, strangely. You wouldn't think it in a little place like that. We'll do it there, so then we're not getting in people's way over on site. This is where this gets a bit more interesting. Can, I'll give him a fighting chance to get out here. Anyway. I'll go for it, pal. That's the one. Not easy when you're loaded. Just to zoom out like that. pedestrian walking along, there's no pavement. We need to wait until these cars have gone before we go any further. Indicate it out. Even though she stepped on the muddy bit, she didn't need to do. We still need to move over. Let's go to him stop. Beacons on. And as the sat nav says, you arrived at your destination. It while we're on the pumps, she's fine. So here we are at Thomas Plant at Bolton with the security gate. Oh, someone's noticed me. No, are they, are they, gonna, are they gonna let me in? No, they're not. It's these two. Tricky little sight in Pendleton here in Manchester. She's going, you're right. That's us, ready for tomorrow with 913 on. So it's a boom out, chaining it. Holding the boom down. It's got a blade on the back, so the boom doesn't fold up very well with the blade there. So do it railway style, just stretch it out. You're gonna chain it down here, yeah. Chain it down. So you've got secure and anchor points there on the edge of the blade, if you can see. Just run your chains off that. And the nice National new clean one. The other chains, internal chains inside there, sweet as bucket side on strap down with just a regular strap it's running over the pins so it's it's smooth so it's not going anywhere that and that's us ready for tomorrow let's see if this snow comes we shall see yeah that's us we're done for the night well I'm just gonna do my diary but otherwise 
we're finished. I've just talked the wheel up for the last time. Got those machines off that I picked up in Manchester. And we're ready for tomorrow. Loaded, ready. Given that it's got a severe weather warning, good idea to get it done tonight. Well, that's us. Uh, see you tomorrow. You take care. Bye bye. Uh, last one in, it seems, gets to turn off the lights. Now, <laughs> I don't really know how to do these, so I'll just hit the kill switch and it's off. So I must be right. Yeah, it should fit on the day, no trouble. for tomorrow why have one digger when you could have two <laughs> well uh, not much footage today it's been a gruel i can honestly tell you it really has when the weather comes in the work kicks off believe me so as thursday it's thursday wednesday that's wednesday evening thank you folks got it all to do it again tomorrow good night Ready? Here we go again. Double trouble this morning. Pretty easy ones though, to be quite honest. Quite ready, so we're gonna have to get stuck in and help them get it clean. Just one of them things. It's looking a lot better now. We'll have her on in a minute. That's absolutely brilliant. So have a quick check round. Let me set back a little bit further this one. Because uh, we can't be in the future. We won't be going over the camp. Uh, but that's a surprise for the future. So yeah, we've got her clean. A good team effort, Andy, Tom. And myself, yeah, we've had a quick check of the chains off camera, no big surprises. She's right, keep the belt strapped in so don't flap about, get in your nerves. Yeah, we're right. So, uh, get me nose bag and head to Manchester. That's been break. I'll put my keys, I don't know. There you are. So that's me quick break and quick look round. It always pays to check your machines every time you stop. It doesn't have to be on your break. Any time you stop, just go around and chains. You'll never regret it. Never ever. Go on this. Lorry next to me is zooming off. He's had his 15 just like I have. But we'll let him go first because what we're going to do for tomorrow, are we? I'll hold him up.
Andy. Hang on. I don't know anyone else who works on the roads, if, who watches this. Uh, but what did we do before, Greg's? Well, <laughs> I think I'd have starved to death, I, I don't know. There was a time before they had Greg's on the motorway services, and whoever thought that up, I, I hope they got promoted. <laughs> As the the service is at Forton, a, a more modern name, uh, Lancaster North, I think it's called. Uh, Lan Lancaster South, I think, I don't know. Uh, you go in the in there and on a six o'clock on a on a weekday morning as the queue would break it <laughs> all the way out to the main gate. I say genius. Genius. And we're on, we're on the motorway. Back to life in the slowly. So these crushing machines, they are an expensive piece of equipment, comfortably half a million quid. And uh, they're not a thing you can leave idle. It, it's just not, it, it, they're too valuable to be uh, and to be quite honest, they're in so much demand, they're, they're not to be left either. So they were using it all the way up till 6.30 last night. So, and uh, this morning, the, the operator of it was busy on the loading shovel. You can't do two things at once. So when I rock up, we all have to pitch in and, and get it clean. And, and to the credit, uh, Andy, the yard man, and uh, Thomas on the shovel, and myself, we pitched in and, and got it clean. It, took, it was about an hour's work. Well, it was an hour's work to get it clean and ready and loaded and chained up. So about an hour and 10 minutes. So uh, it's not too uh, painful, that, you know. It's very important with these. It, if you look on them, there's a lot of chassis, a lot of little ledges, and they're eking little bits of hard crow or a crushed up brick. Just one of them through somebody's windscreen on the motorway and we're talking serious trouble for everyone involved. So it has to be clean. It does have to be clean. It's important. I'm just here at the Science and Industry Museum. The access that I need under that low bridge. You can just see in the distance there's a guy swapping skips over it, so we better wait here until we can get in the gate. They do well, these guys with these skips. <laughs> I'm glad I, it's not a job I particularly fancy dropping in, picking up. I suppose that's what I do, really. So, yeah, they do well. I hope we enjoyed that. As I say, the video of the crutch here, they're driving along the motorway. So it's a, a heavy combination. It's probably running around 73 and a half, maybe 74 ton combined. Uh, so it's uh, definitely in the world of heavy haulage. And considering that's on your own, no second man, no escort, yeah, that's quite a serious undertaking to be quite honest so I hope you enjoyed the film. My future plan I hope is to make at least one driving film a week and hopefully get that out on a Wednesday afternoon probably around lunchtime and hopefully keep the blog going and get that out on Friday evenings. So I'm copying a 
is Swift here, my third of him, Daniel Asheville, and making my vlog two weeks in advance, so hopefully I should be able to get that edited together and uh, posted. So uh, I hope you get to enjoy it, please like and comment and uh, I, I, I always enjoy reading the comments and, and I'm always happy to try and answer any questions if anybody puts them to me so take care thank you bye bye